All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Brandon and I'm back on Motor Nubs. If you saw my last video, I've been working on the, uh, the Turbo Civic. So I was replacing suspension and I broke a bolt that runs through the, the rear lower control arm and it actually has a threaded nut on the other side. Anyway, it, it convinced me to buy a new, a new set of rear con uh, lower control arms. So um, those just came in, let's pop them open. I got these on Amazon. I will put the link down below. Um, they look pretty good. So it mounts to the body. Or no, no, no sorry. The body, then the uh, strut, and then that goes to the, uh, the hub. Uh, I guess, yeah, the hub. So super simple, and I think this is where the sway bar mounts, maybe. I'm not, not exactly sure, but we'll find out when we get back there. Anyway, the bolt broke on this side where the strut mounts, and it had a threaded nut, and it just will not come out of that other side. So I'm going to drop that whole stock assembly out of there since we're not going to be reusing any of those parts. I believe this, this set for both sides was like 50 bucks. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Let's throw it on there. All right, guys, so this was that last side that was holding me up. Um, this bracket did not line up with those holes, so I just put a zip tie in there, and I put a zip tie up here to hold that line. Uh, I don't know what that is, because um, I think the emergency brake is up here, and then the actual brake line runs over here, so maybe that's some kind of speed sensor for ABS or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, zip tied it there, uh, got this side in, um, I'll, I'll need to replace that side eventually too because the bushings are bad and it came as a set so I got both of the lower control arms. But for right now, uh, I'm going to let everything down. I'm going to get these new wheels put on here in a second. Um, but yeah, there she is. The old suspension is finally in. So let's go open these wheels up. My friend actually recommended me these. These are the, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kosi or Kosai. These are the K1 racing wheels um, and they, they got a good look to them. They're not like a super lightweight wheel or anything like that. And I didn't go with any expensive tires. I just put some Kumo oh, PS 31s. So they are a directional tire, but they're not, they're not like super sticky or anything like that. So this is, this is the passenger side. So let's go bring this over there to the passenger side and throw her on. All right, guys, so I got all four wheels and tires mounted up. I notice I have quite a bit more, well, I'd say probably about an inch more gap in the back than I do versus the front. But apparently, um, I was reading and uh, uh, it like in big letters on the suspension, um, it was like suspension will settle. So I noticed this side, this side's been on the longest, I believe, and it's had weight on it the longest. And look at that. That's barely like, you know, one finger, maybe, maybe, not quite even two fingers, like a finger and a half. This side was put on, this side was actually put on last and it's got, it's got less gap than the other side, but this side didn't have any weight on it 
or no, it did have weight. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, if you're supposed to go drive the car and the suspension will settle down and um, then it's recommended uh, to do that before you, you, you do any of this, like make any decisions or, I don't know. I don't know. It, it seems super uneven to me, honestly. But um, I'm gonna drive the car, uh, go do some laps and stuff. It's super late right now, so I don't wanna fire it up and, and wake up the, you know, I got a little baby and stuff and also the neighbors. So I'm gonna end it for tonight's video. I do like, it's got a good look to it though. I I'm, I'm really am liking it. Um, yeah, by the way, I have another fender coming in and as you guys see right here, put a fresh hood on got that off of car id uh fenders coming from car id also a scooter actually wrecked into this while my buddy owned it and dented the fender dented the the uh the door a little bit uh dented the front of the fender and also broke a headlight headlight's been replaced uh the hood had a dent on it we replaced the hood um and replacing that fender i called up the body shop and they said they can actually they'll be able to um pull that a little bit and then skim it with bondo so they said that's not really an issue. I was trying to find another door, but this is an EX door, so it's got power options and everything I could find um, that was in decent shape was all a base model. And I don't want to put one crank window uh, while the rest are power because I don't even think the other ones would work without the master uh, power switch. So, man, I'll tell you what, if this ends up being the ride height after they all settle out, I'm going to really be happy with it because, like, that, that is... That's a good, that's it. That's what I was hoping for, you know, hopefully that other side will settle out. Um, but other than that, guys, I will see you on the next one. I'm going to go wash up and get some sleep and call it a night. So 10, four, have a good one. Uh, by the way, I'll put a link down below. If you're looking for these wheels there, uh, I got the last four that were in stock for this year. Apparently they're having another inventory run of these for next year. Uh, but they're really cost effective and they look pretty decent. They're, I'm not going to say they're a super light wheel, but they're definitely lighter than the alloys that I took off of there, which those are, you know, kind of heavy. Um, but anyway, guys, have a good night. Later. Adios.